everybody, welcome back. Um, this is my latest design team project for uh, Love Junk Journals um, for Tracy Fox Design. The kit, the primary kit in this is called Silhouette, and I've used some of Tracy's other kits alongside it because they all <coughs> really coordinate nicely. Um, the cover, this is a um, another tome, and the cover, I uh, didn't set out to do this. I don't know what's going on with me these last couple of weeks. I'm like in a parallel universe or something because I never decoupage, and yet here I've created a cover that is decoupaged with Tracy's um, papers. These are her background papers. Um, well, not, you know, the, the papers included in the kit. And I didn't intend to do this, but it just came to me when I started working with it. And I thought, well, I want to try it. Is it possible to do? And it, I, it did take some work because I printed it on the uh, lightest weight copy paper I've got. Um, and I did have to manipulate it quite a lot to get it, but I'm delighted with how it's come out. And the papers... They're just amazing. Um, she's done, it's just a very worn and weathered feel to it, and I love it. Absolutely love it. The cover, I've got some canvas, and this was some <clears throat> sort of, uh, I don't know even where I kind of, some sort of packaging, I'm sure. I'm just going to see if I can show you what it is. And I've just been hoarding this forever, and I thought, oh yeah, so it's got a big texture back there, although you can't see much of it, it's there. Um, stitching, book plate, this is another image from Tracy's shop, and then lots of vintage um, scrappy trims, um, little metal with a bulb pin, I've done some old buttons that I've put some Irish linen thread through and then I've bunched up some of the linen thread. This is all very secure so you don't have to worry um, about that. The closure is sorry silk and let's get inside because it's a big one. This is three signature. Okay and here's the cover. Um, I've put some tabs that I've cut out. I've got a little die that does those. And I wanted the front to be just this place where you could maybe put a date, jot down some notes here, <clears throat> and then you've got this big area on the back. So there's not a pocket in the front this time, or did I? Actually, I did. I'm so sorry, guys. It's been, I've been working on this for ages. Um... Yes, I did leave this open. So look, you've got this big pocket down here as well. Uh, lots of stitching in this journal. Here's the papers from the kit. So they're, they're like a ba basic black dress. It's kind of like an essential for your collection, I think. You can use these with so many things, and that's, I guess, the best way I can describe it, although I don't own a black dress. <laughs> but it is something that you can have and coordinate it with so many different kits. Here I've just done a fabric ruffle, a little bit of stamping with some fern, a fern stamp I've got. Everything has been tea dyed, um, and it's all come out with like a... Um, a very warm honey color. Edith Holden. Here I've done a um, tuck spot. <clears throat> this is one of the little envelopes that comes with it. And inside I've just added a few little journaling cards. So that's been tucked in. I've left a lot of threads hanging. If if the whoever buys this doesn't like that, they can easily be snipped off. But I thought it really went nice with this journal. A tea bag pocket. 
that I've done lots. This is some fabric I've stitched to it and then collaged some various um, images I've got from other kits that, that went nicely with this. I've sewn the button there to that. This is another tag from my stash. Some um, sorry silk with some linen thread. Some more stamping. Just lots of little flip places for you to uh, write here. I've done a bit of collaging there. Another little journal card from my stash. Here, a bit more collaging. I've made a, um, this is one of the background papers I've printed to cardstock, and then I've just added some lace to it. And this is just another um, card I've got from my stash. Music roll paper. Um, and this is really different to some of the music rolls I've got are like super thin paper. This feels like a heavy parchment paper. So how cool is that? So that's just been put in there because I thought, well, you know, it's just a nice another little element. Um, this is one of the little payroll envelopes. Oops. Well, I'll have to I'll have to put some washi tape on that. So you've got a little pocket there, and then here I've done another pocket, and then some um, ephemera from Tracy. Yeah, these are this is from Tracy, and the other one is now. This pocket is from another kit that I've got. I'm going to put that over to the side because I want to. Um, I'm going to have to washi that. Some more uh, stitching. I love these pages. Here's a belly band. I didn't put anything in there because it's so full already. And this is a little um, envelope I got from another kit that I've been. Um, I thought worked nicely with this. Another of Tracy's tags. Uh, that's not part of the silhouette cap kit, but um, it's in her shop. And then here I've just done little tags and some stamping. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit of trim here. And then um, this is just an image I've got in my stash that I thought looked really nice poking through there. Um, obviously, this is an upcycled envelope. Here is a um, now this pocket idea is from Nikki Nikki Ab Abgun. I'm gonna put Nikki's um, link to her channel below because oh my God, guys, that girl is talented. She, she's not a girl. She's a woman, but you know I always refer to people as girls. Um, she is so talented. Um, she is in the top five of the people I follow. That's how good this girl is. And I, I don't, you know, I don't try to um, big people up, you know, just because I'm trying to be, you know, popular. She genuinely, this girl is amazing with her work. So you guys uh, check her out. She came up with this idea, which is just, I'm blown away because I can't believe I haven't thought of it. <laughs> um, I work with envelopes so much, but it never occurred to me. So you guys look at her um, channel and it's in one of her craft alongs, how to make this. It's just, it's genius. Genius, I tell you. Uh, more little um, tags. I look at a little library card there. Um, and then this is one of Tracy's little tea cards. You've got to have those. And just a bit of collaging. So, um, But I love that idea when I saw it. I was like, oh, I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. 
but you guys check it out. She's got a little tutorial. She's fantastic to watch. A um, bit more, um, I got to playing around with my sewing machine and did a, a little bit more decorative stamping, there. Uh, stitching, sorry, stitching, stamping, I'm getting all confused. Here I did a um, altered paper clip and just various things from my stash and then this is one of the little envelopes you get in the kit. And then this is one of Tracy's, part of her ephemera. Um, just These are from my stash. So Gosh, that's just signature one, so we got to get a move on here. This is some more of the piano paper. Um, let's see, I want to make sure you guys are seeing it all. Some old doily there that's been given new life. Another tag from the kit. And just various bits of ephemera that I've got. I'm sure that one's from Tracy's, one of Tracy's kits as well. Some more stamping. This is another upcycled um, junk um junk mail envelope with another journal card inside. This is one of Tracy's um, tea cards I put in there to cover up that and then I've just <coughs> on the back I covered there was quite a lot of writing on this envelope and I thought some people might not like that so I've covered it up um, with an image from one of my other kits. Um, somebody was asking about this book, just give me a second. Richard Richard Bell's Britain. It's a uh, kind of a woodland. Um, it's a book, you know, based on Britain, obviously. But he's done a lot of looks like watercolor. Um, I think it's along the lines of Edith Holden. You know, it's a little bit different. It's not as girly. This is more. Um, darker masculine colors but it is um, if you're into nature books uh, journaling that I highly recommend that Richard Bell's Britain and this is another little flip out from an envelope uh, I made a couple of mini um, Rolodex cards and I've added a couple of the little sure these sayings are part of um, Tracy's kit. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz. I think that's a photo card die. And I've just tucked in all sorts of little bits of... This is from Tracy's The Little Tiny Embellishments. How sweet! It's like a Barbie folder envelope. I love it, love it, love it. Those little tiny embellishments, they just make me so happy. I, you can't work with them and stay in a bad mood. I don't know, there's something about them. This is one of Tracy's um, little tiny tags. That's a part of the, I believe it was the... In, oh, I don't know. It's one of her other kits, though. So that's a really... This is part of this silhouette kit. So I've tucked that in there. You could do some journaling on the back of that. So there you go. And then on this side we've got another big tag, then this tag, and then you've also got this space you can fill with something. But as I said, I didn't put something in every space because it's just too full. Um, <clears throat> here I've done a, oh, let's see, this is a coin envelope that I've done. This is some handmade paper I've done some collaging with. These are from a different kit, um, but they just suited this so nicely, I thought. And then here I've put a tag in here, and then there's also a little tuck spot here that you can add something to, and that's just been tucked in so that you can move it around the journal. A vintage music page, another rustic little tag. Um, another book page, another fabric ruffle. This is the back side of the uh, junk mail envelope. And um, 
let you see. So here I've just created a another little journaling card that's tucked in that so you can see it coming through. Um, and then throughout the journal there's just you know little snippets of vintage lace and like here I've put Okay, here I've done, this is one of Tracy's um, faux ephemera, and then I've just stamped onto a little book tag. And this is um, from one of Tracy's kits, the little ticket. This is from a separate kit. Um, I love those little tags. That's Tracy's, the faux ephemera kit. So, um, Music sheet. And then in between the signature here, I've included this. Um, this is inspired by Wendy. She did a um, Wendy's Journal Adventure. She did a little thing. And this was one of Tracy's um, file folder kits. And then this is her, um, some more of Tracy's tags. So I've just tucked that in there. I've done a, a little fabric and lace snippet there that's been stitched in. or Well, I've sewn the button and then I've adhered it. And then here is just a little notepad. So, thank you for that idea, Wendy. And this is closed with um, Sorry Silk. So I've just kept that because I've got a good bit of space there and the, it just keeps some of that bulk down. And here's another stamped tag. And then I've created, this is some Irish linen thread that I've bunched behind. And this has been stamped, sewn, and then put onto um, really old crocheted uh, doily that was coming apart. More writing, writing, some more of the decorative stitch. This was that uh, book I picked up at the car boot, and it's the uh, Animals of Britain. Aren't the images gorgeous? Oh, I love this. This is Nikki. The Nikki um, tutorial on this. This is so sweet. Gosh. I can get it off there. Yeah, that's one of the Tim Holtz um, little clips. But look at this. She's so genius. The little, she's created this, so check her out, because I'm not going to try to tell you guys, but check out her tutorials. I asked her if I could use um, these in my 100 day project, and um, she said she was fine with that, so I might, but that's going to be way down the road, <laughs> like, like day 90, <laughs> assuming I make it that far. <laughs> These are Tracy's tiny little circles that she's come out with, and aren't they adorable? So I've just got those hanging. Um, I just think that's such a sweet, sweet little um, idea. Here I've done a little um, journal tag, and this just flips up so you can have some secret writing there. A bit more stamping. Um, more junk mail. I love how that one's come out. I add some brads to that image and some scrap paper and some more lace. And then I created this um, journaling card and I backed it with grid paper. <laughs> I didn't even look. I, I spotted the um, tea dyed paper and I thought, oh, that'd be perfect. I'll back it with tea dyed paper. And after I sewed it, I realized, uh-oh. But um, anyways, and that stamped to some muslin there. <clears throat> some more um, fabric ruffle. And then here I've created um, a little window using some of the um, Tim Holtz vellum because those are the tiny ones that you get, and you never know quite what to do with those, and this is perfect. So that's just an index card that I folded over, stitched it, and then I put that um, 
to show through. So that's tucked in there. Some more music roll paper, and that's the other part of that little um, animals book page. I love that. So sweet. <clears throat> This is from another kit I've got, guys. Um, and aren't these adorable? I just love it, love it, love it. So um, that just perfect in this journal. And then I, this is one of Tracy's um, ephemeras, and this is hers. I thought, oh, I'll just tuck that back there. So those can be moved around if you didn't want to have it there. Um, another journal card. Oh, it's getting full. That's from my stash. And then this is a handmade paper, and I've stamped. So these are super sturdy. And I've just tucked that in that little spot. <coughs> More stamping here. And some stamping there. And then this is the back of the journal, guys. And I've just created this big coin envelope so you can um, put some things in. So there you go. That is Nature's Notes. Nature Notes, I should say. Um, that's what I've named this one. It is a big journal, and like I said, this is going in, into my shop. By the time this is up, this is going to be in the shop for sale, so if you're interested in it, I'll put the link below for that. I'm going to put the link to all every kit I can remember on Tracy's, but have a good old look around her shop because she's got so many things that, and honestly, they will work with any designs that you're working with. So um, there it is. I'm really happy with how it's come out. I hope uh, you guys have enjoyed it. And there's all the little strings hanging. So you guys, I appreciate it. I will be back, um, well, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, and it seems like I never leave this place. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day and a great weekend. Bye.